welcome you all in our live class in bhg course and uh, subject code is bhic 133 history of india from 1206 to 1707 myself dr neelam kumari pande assistant professor in br ambedkar college delhi university <clears throat> dear students today we are going to discuss a uh, history of india from 1206 to 1707 in our previous class we have already discussed its its first unit trends in history writing so now we start its second unit foundation expansion and consolidation of delhi sultanate students as you know that the period of 10th century in indian medieval history had great importance because it brought political ideas and institutions so let's start with its introduction in the history of medieval india 10th century created a war like situations which brought major and important changes in the scenario it witnessed a westward intrusion of nomadic people inhabitants of the eastern corners of the asian continent then wave came upon wave in in why invade india and this invasion which extensive than the last the wave came upon wave to invade india to each invasion invasion was extensive than the last in a relatively short span of time the barbarian hordes had overturned and brought down the once prosperous empires and kingdoms of central asia horse of the mediterranean mediterranean and black sea since between the 10th and 12th centuries the invaders were primarily turks between 10th and 12th centuries invaders were primarily turks while the invasions of 13th to 15th centuries involved a kindred but more barbaric and ferocious people like the mongols during 13th to 15th uh, centuries invaders were mongols and mongols were very barbaric and ferocious however there was one identical similarity among these that they were desert people one identical similarity what is the one identical similarity both are related to desert people they are the, they were the desert people mongols and turks were the desert people and they were great by the prosperity of india both were see the india eye of uh, greedy eye these invasions made india so weak and created a fearful situations in the society as long they stayed in the country these situations made india so weak because they were both were look india in greedy eye now we see turks and mongols invasions Turks and Mongols both were the product of deserts. That did 
encircled in the massive area in the central asia and extended in the north and south trans transoxiana we have already read that turks and mongols both were the product of desert area <clears throat> specifically they descended from the mass of nomads and roamed in the area of the altai mountains south lake of bengal regions that are now the part of outer mongolia bengal regions are now the part of outer mongolia they had a primitive mobile civilization Turks and Mongols both were had a primitive mobile civilization, which was based on tribal organization and ownership of heads of cattle, mainly sheep and horses. In addition to this cattle, they often post camels, muses, asses to fulfill their everyday needs. and requirements the animals supplied most of the essential needs of nomads in terms of food clothing shelter and transportation milk and flesh gave them nourishment available from their pets so they used less grains the hide of animals was used as clothing and also to make tents yurts yurts is a tent in which they lived in and they displaced it with their mobile residential life these tribes were lived in yurts and yurts is a tent they were lived in small groups and always careful about their mutual interests they were lived in small groups and always careful about their mutual interests now we see the invasions of india uh, now we see the muhammad of ghazni's invasion of india the invasions of muhammad ghazni at the close of 10th century followed some years later by the gorian invasions the invasion of muhammad ghazni followed some years later by the gorian invasions both ghazni and gori were in afghanistan and were fast projections of these nomadic movements ghazni and gor were both were in afghanistan and were vast projections of these nomadic movements in other parts of asia turks eruption in india culminated in the formation of an independent political identity turkish turkish eruption in india culminated in the formation of an ident, uh, independent political identity the delhi sultanate in the first half of the 13th century the delhi sultanate in the first half of the 13th century the term delhi sultanate signifies the rule of turks over large parts of the northern india with its capital of delhi the term delhi sultanate signifies the rules over large parts of northern india with its capital of delhi during their rules the turks established the social political and economic institutions which was differ from our ancient existing ideas 
to establish the social, political, and uh, economic institutions, which were different from the ancient existing ideas. This unique institutional idea was the combination of the prevalent political system of India and management of the tribal societies of the nomadic culture of the Turks. The unique institutional idea was the combination of the prevalent political system of India and management of the tribal societies of the nomadic cultures of the Turks. In political and military perspective, the invasions of Muhammad Ghazni were the actual precessors of Delhi Sultanate. Invasions of Muhammad Ghazni were the actual precessors of the Delhi Sultanate. After military conquest, the rulers of Delhi Sultanate set themselves on the track of consolidation of Sultanate. After military conquest, the rulers of Delhi Sultanate set themselves on the track of consolidation of Sultanate. The period of 1206 to 1290 is a challenging period in the history of Sultanate, Delhi Sultanate. So now we discuss the conflict and consolidation from 1206 to 1290. The period from 1206 to 1290 formulated the most challenging period in the history of Delhi Sultanate. The period of 1206 to 1290 is the most challenging period in the history of Delhi Sultanate. It was marked by a prolonged multi-concerned conflict within the Gorian ruling class and the renewed Rajput resurgence. Gorian ruling class and the renewed Rajput resurgence. Sudden death of Muhammad Ghori in 1206 resulted a tussle for supremacy. Sudden death of Muhammad Ghori in 1206 resulted a tussle for supremacy among his three important generals. Among his three important generals, generals of Muhammad Ghori, Ta Tajuddin Yaldaj. Nasruddin Kubacha and Kutubuddin Eba. Ta Tajuddin Yaldos, Nasruddin Kubacha and Kutubuddin Eba were three important generals of Muhammad Ghori. After the death of Muhammad Ghori, Tassel started for supremacy among the three important generals. Yaldos, Kubacha and Kutubuddin Eber. Between the Yaldaj, Kubacha and Kutubuddin Eber. Yaldaj held Karman and Sankuran on the route between Afghanistan. Yaldaj held Karman and Sankuran on the route between Afghanistan. And Upper Sindh and Kubacha held the important charge of Uch. Yaldaj held Karman Sankuran on the route between Afghanistan and Upper Sindh. And Ubacha held the charge of Uch. 
while Qutubuddin Abak had already been deputed as the viceroy of Muhammad Ghori and main commander of the army in India. While Abak had already been viceroy of Muhammad Ghori and main commander of the army in India. Though being a slave still, Tajuddin Yaldaj, Nasruddin Kubacha, Kutubuddin Ebak, all were slave. So he conferred the title of Sultan upon him soon after the death of Muhammad Ghori. They adorned the title of Sultan after the death of Muhammad Ghori because they all were slave. In his brief reign of four years, Abak moved his capital to Lahore to frustrate Yaldaw's ambition of annexing the Punjab. In the period of four years, Abak moved his capital to Lahore to frustrate Yaldaw's ambition of annexing the Punjab. After the death of Abak, 1210, after the death of Abak, his son-in-law, Iltutmes, succeeded on the throne. After the death of Abak, his son, his son-in-law, Iltutmis succeeded on the throne, brought back the capital to Delhi. Iltutmis brought back the capital to Delhi. <clears throat> now we see the Mongols problem. Because Mongols problem was a major concern for Delhi Sultan. Mongols problem become a major concern for Delhi Sultanate, to establishment of the Delhi Sultanate. Mongols problems had been a major concern for Delhi Sultanate. In the reign of Kutubuddin Abak, Mongols under the leadership of Chengiz Khan appeared on the bank of Hindus. In the reign of Kutubuddin Abak, Mongols under the leadership of Chengiz Khan appeared in the bank of Hindus. Jalaluddin Mangbarni, son of Khwarizm, ruler had been taken a refuge in the Punjab, persuade them. The Mongol Persians had upset the plan of Iltutmis to consolidate the rule on North West. It also created the challenge for Kubacha, who held the Uch and faced the world of Mangbarni's attack. Kubacha faced the world of Mangbarni's attack. As consequence, Iltutmis was able to seize Bhatinda, Kuhram, and Sursuti. Iltutmis was able to seize Bhatinda, Kuhram, and Sursuti. In 1228, Iltutmis launched two prompt attack on Multan and Uch. Uch was which was the control of Kubacha. So in, 20, in 1228, Iltutmis launched two prorogued attack on Multan and Uch. He defeated Kubacha, who later droned himself in the Hindus. After defeated Kubacha, who later drowned himself in the Hindus. 
united control over northwest make iltutmish able to expand the delhi sultanate in the rajputana and the reclaim ranthambore mandor jalor bayana and tanjir <coughs> United control over Northwest make Iltutmis able to extend for the Delhi Sultanate in the Rajputana. And he reclaimed Ranthambhor, Mandor, Jalor, Bayana, and Tanjir. After 1225, Iltutmis turned towards the East and continued his success, but Lakhnauti in the Bengal and Bihar evade the authority of Sul, Sultan. Lakhnauti in the Bengal and Bihar invade the authority of Sultan. Now we see <clears throat> the Delhi Sultanate after the death of Iltutmis. After the death of Iltutmis, we find more nationalism and intrigues among the Turks. In a short period of 30 years, four descendants of Iltutmis occupied the throne. In a short period of 30 years, four descendants of Iltutmis occupied the throne. Rajya Sultan was the daughter of Iltutmis. We all are know about the Rajya Sultan. The most prominent group, which was known as the Turkani Chichigani Bangdan Samsi. Turkani Chichigani Bangdan Samsi is a 40 slave officer of Iltutmis. Determine the political course of action. The 40 slave officers of Iltutmis determine the political course of action. Known as Turkane Chichilgani Bandagan. Samji. During this period, the Sultanate faced instability by the rewards of smaller Rajput chiefs and local leaders. After the death of Iltutmis, the Sultanate faced instability by the rewards of smaller Rajput chiefs and local leaders. While the Mongols were constantly also active in and around the reign of Punjab. During this period, Mongols were constantly also active in and around the reign of Punjab. Meanwhile, the accession of Balban in 1265 provided a mighty support to consolidate the Delhi Sultan. Accession of Balban in 1265 provided a mighty support to consolidate the Delhi Sultan. Balban made several changes in the social, political, and economic institutions to strengthen the Sultan. Balban made several changes in the social, political, and economic institutions to strengthen the Sultan. After the death of Balban, the struggle for throne started. After the death of Balban, a struggle for 
so it started because barbar had nominated his eldest son kay khusro for succession but nobles helped kay kubad to ascend the throne and intrigues continued for more after the death of balban struggle for throne started because balban had nominated nominated his eldest son kay khusro and nobles helped kay kubad kay kubad son of bugra khan kay kubad was the son of bugra khan to ascend the throne and intrigues continued for more then two years and finally jalaluddin khilji a prominent noble of the period managed to capture the throne then two years and finally Jal Jal jalaluddin khilji prominent noble of the period jalaluddin khilji was a prominent noble of the slave dynasty managed to capture the throne now we see the political consequences of the turks conquest of india the turks conquest of india brought several major changes in indian political scenario the turks conquest of india brought several major changes in indian political scenario in a major change they replace the feudal system of the country turks were changed replace the feudal system of the country at that time feudal system was exist in indian society and centralized the power in which king enjoyed unlimited rights in in feudal system centralized the power in which king enjoyed unlimited rights so the turkish turks conquest of india brought several major changes in indian political scenario and the feudal system was a major uh, character of indian political scenario the uh, the chief institution which provided sultanate the solid base for consolidation was ikta the chief institution which provided sultanate the solid base for consolidation was ikta so the turks were Turks replaced feudal system and introduced ikta system in the political scenario. Which provided Sultanate a solid base. Ikta system was provided Sultanate the solid base. ikta transferable and ikta was a transferable revenue assignments the chief institution which provided sultanate the solid base for consolidation was ikta transferable revenue assignments under this system officers were appointed to realize the possibility of state revenue and maintain the troops and cavalry under this system under the ikta systems 
officers were appointed to realize the possibility of state revenue and maintain the troops and cavalry the holders of such assignments were known as mukti the holders of such assignments were known as mukti mukti replaced saman zamindars which exist in feudal system zamindars saman chauris were exist in feudal system and muktis replaced them the holders of such assignments we are known as mukti unlike the permanent land ownership as pre turkish system land ownership of the state was transferred in the prevailing political interest unlike the permanent land ownership as pre turkish system land ownership of the state was transferred in the prevailing political interest in mighty among local rulers and vested interests keep them far from to unit for establishing a central power in mighty among local rulers and vested interest keep them far from to unit for establishing a central power ikta system was a very uh, important for uh, sultanat period ikta system was a very important topic of delhi sultanate and ikta system is a very important political system of the sultanate now we see the expansion under the khilzis the first khilzi sultan jalaluddin did neither have will not more resources to expand the sultanate in the large scale expansion program the first khilji sultan jalaluddin did not did neither have will not more resources to expand the sultanate in the large scale expansion program his six years reign was gripped by internal contradiction of occupying the powers by different rival groups his six years reign was gripped by internal contradiction of occupying the powers by different rival groups his unfortunate assassination of alauddin khilji makes his dreams impotent his unfortunate assassination by alauddin khilji makes his dreams impotent his successors and assassinator alauddin had a different approach and he efforted to expand the sultanate at the close of southern reign in the middle of 14th century his successors and assassinator assassinator alauddin had a different approach and he efforted to expand the sultanate at the close of 
southern again in the middle of 14th century. Thus, we see that Delhi Sultanate established by Turks and Afghans. Slave dynasty, Hilzi dynasty, Tughlaq dynasty, Sayyid dynasty, and Lodi dynasty. In the Sultanate period, five dynasty were ruled. Slave dynasty, Khilji dynasty, Tughlaq dynasty, Sayyid dynasty, and the Lodi dynasty. The religious thus established by the Turks and Afghans. These dynasties were below are related to Turks and Afghans invaders. So thus we see that. Then he Sultanate established by Turks and Afghans. Lodis were Afghans. Invaders became successful owing to several internal reasons and differences of the local rulers. Turks and Afghans invaders successful because there are several internal reasons and differences of the local rulers. Rajput rulers and local rulers have several differences. Owing their wasted and malified interests. Some patriot rulers like Prithviraj Chauhan and some other tried to resist the attack and save the nation. Some patriot, patriot rulers like Prithviraj Chauhan and some other tried to resist the attack and save the nation, but they failed. Prithviraj Chauhan and others ruler who patriot rulers were failed. However, the foundation, consolidation and expansion of the Sultanate emerged the several new political ideas and institutions. The Rhine First War, the Rhine Second War, between Gori and Prithvira Chauhan. <coughs> Gori and Jaichan. But the these local rulers, Patriot rulers, were failed to save the nation. but they failed due to greed and internal consequences. Jai Chand and Prithvira Chauhan were the cousin brothers, but they became in me. Their internal problem, their internal consequences Them. However, the foundation, consolidation, and expansion of the Sultanate emerged the several new political ideas and institutions. Delhi Sultanate brought new political idea and political institutions.
we already see that uh, uh, after the death of Iltutmes, Turk dynasty faced, Sultanate dynasty faced so many problems. After the death of Iltutmes, we have already seen, we have already studied that the after of after the death of Iltutmis, Sultanate dynasty faced so many problems. A 40 slave officers of Iltutmis, which were called Turkani, Chichilgani, Bandagani, Samsi, determined the political course of action. And also, the death of Iltutmis in Delhi Sultanate faced many revolts of smaller Rajputs. Chief. After the death of Iltutmis, Delhi Sultanate faced so many revolts of smaller Rajputs and local leaders. Establishment of Delhi Sultanate was not easy. In this period, in while in, in while this period, the Mongols were constantly active. After the death of Il Tutmis, we see that Mongols were constantly active around the reign of. Punjab. And after some time, after the death of Il, after the death of Iltutmis, Sultanat faced so many disputes between the successors because Iltutmis nominated her successor. To her, to her daughter Ritya Sultan. <laughs> Meanwhile, the accession of Balban in 1265 support to consolidate the Delhi Sultan. Balban in 1265 provided a mighty support to consolidate the Delhi Sultanate. Balban changed social, political and economic institutions. Balban changes in the social, political, and economic institutions to strengthen the Sultanate, to give the strength to Sultanate. The changes of social, political, and economic institutions, social institutions, political institutions, and economic institutions give strength the Sultanate. But after the death of Balgan, Balban, struggle began, started the struggle for throne. After the death of Balban, struggle for throne also started once again. Because Balban nominated his eldest son Kakuba. But uh, Kakusro, Balban had nominated his eldest son Kakusro. But nobles helped, nobles wanted to 
uh, as a successor to son of Bugra Khan, Kekuba. After Iltut, the death of Iltut means after the death of Balban, Delhi Sultanate faced so many problems, internal problems. Delhi Sultanate, enslaved dynasty, faced so many internal problems. To uh, the struggle for throne. Where 40 slave officers played a, uh, main, uh, uh, played a main role of political course of action in political administration. 40 slave officers played an important role, an important role of political, uh, political institution, political system. And after the death, also the death of Balban, nobles were active to select the successors. So we see that the interviews continued for more than two years. And finally, Jalaluddin Khilji. Jalaluddin Khilji was a prominent novel of the slave dynasty on the period of slave dynasty. So Jalaluddin Khilji managed to capture the throne. In the period of Sultanate, in the Sultanate period, five dynasties were ruled. Slave dynasty, the main ruler of slave dynasty were Kutubuddin Ebak, Iltut Mis, Balban, Rajiya Sultan, and the Khilji dynasty, Alauddin Khilji, the market policy of Alauddin Khilji was very important. Alauddin Khilji, Muhammad Tughlaq dynasty, Muhammad bin Tughlaq also played an important role to establish, to establish the and consolidation expansion of Delhi Sultanate. Sayyids, Lodis, were also played an important role in Sultanate period. We also see, we have already seen that the Mongols' problems were major concern for Delhi Sultanate. We have already seen that the Mongols' problems were, the Mongols' problem had been a major concern for Delhi Sultanate. Jalaluddin Mangbarni had been taken a refuge in the Punjab, persuaded them. Jalaluddin Mangbarni, Mangbarni was a son of Khwarezmi. The Mongols' presence, the Mongols' presence had upset the plan of El Turkmenis to consolidate the rule of Northwest. As consequences, Il Tutmis was able to seize Bhatinda, Puram, and Sushuti. We see that the consequences of Il Tutmis was able to seize Bhatinda, Puram, and Sushuti. In, uh, in 1228, Il Tutmis launched two pronounced attacks on Multan and Kuch. The attack of Multan and Kulch to Iltutmis in 
एस्टैब्लिशमेंट ऑफ द दिल्ली सल्तनत टू मेक द टू टू मेक स्ट्रॉन्ग द दिल्ली सल्तनत United controls over northwest make the Turkmens able to expand the Delhi Sultanate. United control over northwest make the Turkmens able to expand the Delhi Sultanate. In the Rajputana and the reclaim reminder and reclaim Ranthambore. मंडोर जालोर बयाना एंड तंजौर दिल्ली सल्तनत एक्सपेंड हर टेरिटरी इन रंथम्भौर मंडोर जालोर बयाना एंड तंजीर बट इन 1225 व्हेन इल तुर्कमिस टर्न टुवर्ड द ईस्ट एंड कंटिन्यूड हिज सक्सेस लखनौती evade the authority of sultanate lucknow ki evade the authority of sultanate lucknow ki in the bengal and bihar in our conclusion we uh, also uh, 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 we also mention the conflict and consolidation of 1206 to 1290 because the period of 1206 and 1290 formulated the most challenging period in the history of delhi sultan Twelve hundred six to twelve hundred ninety formulate the most challenging period in the history of Delhi Sultanate because it was marked by a prolonged multi-concerned conflict within the Korean ruling class and the renewed Rajput resurgence between the twelve hundred six and twelve hundred ninety multi-concerned conflict. happened within the gorian ruling class and the renewed rajput resurgence but sudden death of muhammad gori in 1206 resulted a tussle for supremacy among his three important generals we see that the consolidation expansion and foundation of the region was not easy there are so many problems there were so many problems faced by sultanate rulers to establish the sultanate dynasty tussles between three important ruler the three important general officers with uh, to muhammad gori started nasruddin tam we uh, we tajuddin yaldoz nasruddin kubacha kutubuddin ebat had tussles Abak had already deputed as a viceroy of Muhammad Gori. Abak had already deputed as the viceroy of Muhammad Gori. Ab uh, is his uh, his reign of 4 years abak's reign of 4 years moved his capital to lahore to first lahore and 
after the death of Abbas, in Tuthmis brought back the capital to Delhi. Abbas moved his capital to Lahore and his son-in-law El Tuthmis brought back the capital of Delhi after the death of Abbas. Thus, we can see the expansion under uh, the, exp the expansion of uh, Delhi Sultanate under the slave dynasty to uh, to Lodi dynasty was not easy. Turks and Afghans invaders became successful owing to several internal reasons and differences of the local rulers. But the differences of local rulers and Rajput rulers make them easy. If the Rajput rulers were make a unity, the Sultanate rulers, Turks and Afghans, the Rajput rulers gave, gave them tough competition. But the internal disputes of local rulers in Rajputana make them invaded, invasions easy. So we can see that the foundation, consolidation, and expansion of the Sultanate emerged the several new political ideas and institutions. Dear students, in our next class, we will discuss uh, an important topic and uh, of Mughal administration, army structure and Mansab system. Thank you.